So this is uh, my second to last day in Vegas and I am super excited for the move and I can't wait to take you guys along on the journey. As you can see, almost all of our stuff is packed and soon uh, it will be time to get some sleep and hit the road.
courtyard area. Little tiny step up that I just tripped on. Oops. So this is the front door and we've got a massive closet over here. And this will be where Merlin's table will go and the piano. Probably on this side but maybe this side. Um, and then in here is going to be the little cafe space. Okay. So we're going to have our reading chairs books, little lounge area, probably the um, bookcases here. This is where my garden will go, and behind here is actually where the greenhouse will be, so this whole area here. This is the kitchen, which is great. All the appliances are staying. We'll get there. I haven't even been to the backyard yet, so you're seeing some of this as I am. Um, here is the bathroom that will be next to my room. Faye and I will share this when Faye stays here. We will be 100% redoing this whole bathroom. We'll probably keep that toilet because it's a good toilet, but the rest of it, we're going to redo. We'll probably reuse the cabinets. Um, so this is my room. This is a linen closet that butts up against my closet. So the plan actually is to just expand my closet into that linen closet, which will be really easy and actually probably something we could just do ourselves. Yeah, there's my room. I get to look into the backyard and the neighbor's yard and a little bit of the front. Um, I'm a nosy person, so I like that. This tree will need to be taken care of. This is Merlin's room. And he'll have probably his Warhammer closet and then his clothes. And we will be redoing this bathroom as well. Little fan. Um, water heater. And <laughs> I don't need to be like <laughs> catching you. <laughs> Um, so I actually haven't been to this part yet, so they're doing a little bit of drywall repair back here, but this is like a mudroom space here, but that'll all be greenhouse. Um, garage. Hey, this is bigger than I thought it was. Uh, and this will be Faye's room. So, nice big closet. This floor is, I don't know, I really like it personally. I think it's cool. I like the floor. Yeah. Um, and that's the backyard. Some of it, just part of it. Oh, that's the side yard. This is the side yard and the backyard, I guess, is still over there. So, oh yeah, that is the front of the house that way. Oh. Yeah, it sticks there a little bit. Uh, this door must be replaced. Like, we don't have to have the, I mean, That's okay. You're cute. Um, and then this has some bugs in it. Little bugs. Oh, and what is that? We don't know. So this door, a lot of the door, probably all of the doors in this house will be replaced. Um, but our plan is to kind of set up like a, a door of some sort or some type of like barrier that is movable, like we can walk through it to keep the cats out. But then it'll be, we're gonna remove all the carpets in the house, including this one. And then this one will probably just be tile like that. And it'll be a, one of the cubes with plants. So it'll be kind of a thin walkway, but that's okay. Um, and then here will be more plants. Um, probably just here. Um, and then this door and this door will keep the cats out. And it'll be nice. So it, clearly this used to be like the outside. Um, I, th I believe this is considered like a covered porch or something, closed porch or something like that. Um, 
yeah, and there's, this is the backyard all back here. And it looks like, uh, it looks like if we provided it with some good water, I think this place would be pretty great back here. So it's really exciting. Um, yeah, that's it thus far. That is the house. I am very excited and this is way better than I think we were even hoping. There's a lot less that needs fixed than we were thinking, which is fantastic.
maniac. Glued carpet tiles directly to cement. What is even happening here? No, I'm going to take a break. You want to see me do some like dangerous shit? There you go. This is it. This is me. Oh, food's on the way. That's nice. Have any of you had to deal with this? This kind of insanity. I can't even pull it up without the this bit coming off. Okay, but hey, that's better than it was. Oh no. There we go. Okay, okay. I can make that work. Satisfying ass TikTok shit. Don't do this. Don't glue carpet to, to cement. Lay down proper cushioning. I'm not even a construction trans mask and I know it's thrown.
So Merlin got home with the pry bars and some Sonic and we ate our brunch and found this. So it didn't rain last night. No, um, this is from the sprinkler system, which has a line that goes over the top of the house. Um, we think there might be a backup in the gutter, but also this means that there is a roof leak, which is not spectacular. However, I feel like this is incredibly good luck. Incredibly good luck. Had we laid down the floors with no regard for a vapor barrier, had we decided we'll get the pry bars after we lay down the floor, we would not have found this. And that would have made for really, really rough time trying to figure out you know what's going on with the floor why is it warping right because vapor bar barrier works great but i mean it doesn't stop moisture from happening mold would, would have accumulated um and merlin and i are both allergic he's allergic enough that he would be able to be like oh there's mold in here he wouldn't be able to come in my room so and then we would have had to pull the floor all the way back up again probably buy a new floor because this would be damaged and um, start over. So I'm really glad. I'm really glad that we ended up having the delays that we did. And now it's just a matter of um, figuring out the source of the leak and fixing it.